Hello again, and welcome back to the Chassis Room Series. Myself, Critical Rocket, and we're still with the Timberwolves, and we're with the clan's favourite configuration, the D. Ah, uh, that one's just never going to get old, is it? Yeah, dick jokes in general just don't get old. So yes, the Timberwolf Delta. Now, this is another dual ERPPC wielder, but uh, it has the tiny little caveat that it comes with four streak sixes, two mounted in each side torso, and a single ER small laser, just there to piss me off and make me buy the whole mech, rather than just getting the Omnipods. So, fuck you, game, basically. Uh, it's really good. <laughs> it's straight out of the straight out of the bat. It's uh, it's just a really good version of the Timberwolf. It's straightforward. It's yes, it's two extreme ranges. It's either smack bang in the enemy's face, or it's so far away that you could send the postcard quicker than it would be for the weapons fire to get there because of the RPPCs firing so damn slow. So what you end up with is a very very high damage version of the Timberwolf. I prefer firing the Streak Sixes in chain fire rather than as a group, mainly because it looks cooler, and I think it also scares the crap out of light pilots more. Firing all four of them at the same time is obviously good just when you've got the angle and you can hit them and it's a huge amount of damage. But I always wonder sometimes about PGI's uh, hit reg, so I find that firing them in chain also I think guarantees more of the missiles hit, or register hits at least. Uh, rather than uh, firing all of them at the same time and it only registering about two thirds of those missiles. So as such, it's very powerful. It's extremely heat efficient, despite the fact that it does have some pretty high heat weaponry. And coupled with all the other great things about the Timberwolf anyway, is its speed, its armor, uh, it, you know, it looks great. Uh, and looks are, are an essential part of any uh, choice when uh, coming up with a particular battle mech. And uh, yeah, this 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 match was a milk run, uh, mainly because this mech is just so much fun. Just to admit, I, you know, I got a little bit fed up with some teammates who would stand in your way on occasion, uh, especially when you're trying to line up a shot and like uh, a friendly just uh, pa, then they were all pat themselves right in front of you, and you just sort of like, yeah, thanks for that. Now I can't help you. You're getting hit, and I'm getting some of that fire as well, and we both look like fucking idiots. So congrats on that one. But yes, that aside. Um, it's a uh, it's a bit of a, a bit of a pisser uh, when that happens. But the mech itself, the variant is well worth the C builds uh, purely for the the hard point loadout alone. I mean, this is a version of the Timby that comes with four missile hard points, Zim, uh, no joint Zemost with the uh, Timberwolf S. Uh, the energy hard points is only three, which is probably lacking, but it more than makes up for it with the missile hard points. And the great thing is, is you could take the, the missile hard points and whack them onto your Timberwolf Prime if you wanted to do some extra uh, missile firepower there, or stick them onto uh, one of the other variants that doesn't come with them, like the uh, or the other use the other side torso from the A, uh, that kind of thing. If you want to mix and match, this is the probably your best uh, side torso ones because it's not as expensive. So yeah, it's it's just it's just fun. It's just a great mech to run all around, and there's plenty of little build options there for you. If you want to get creative, if you want to be your own your own man, you want to be your own person out there on the field, and you you want to go around and have a have a nice look and go, oh, I think it worked better with some of them some of them uh, ATMs. You know the ones uh, you know the ones outside shopping centre. You get money out. Yeah, we want to go want to go use one of them. And uh, and uh, go and uh, stick uh, some ATM threes and uh, may or maybe ATM sixes in there. I don't know. Whatever works best. You can do that if you fancy. A oh, quick point. Uh, the bro was looking like, through Reddit at some point, and uh, there was like one person said they couldn't watch the videos because I always sound so oh god I'm so down. It's like well I'm sorry if that's the way I fucking talk. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry that the videos can't be so. Chipper like, oh, good, good golly gosh, oh wow, it's amazing, it's Mech Warrior Online! You know, it can't always be so fucking happy and joyous all the goddamn time. Plus, I'm English. They're only, we're only happy when there's it's raining outside, or we've got fucking fish and chips to eat, yeah? it That's about it. Don't listen to any of the others, or, alright, the only other time you're happy is when you're friggin' rich. Yeah? Other than that, that's just how I sound. I'm sorry that that, that that offends that random person on Reddit from a few years back. But it, it's been it's been one of the things that I remember reading something like, What? 
I've been happy in plenty of these videos in the past. It probably just doesn't come across very well. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's that's just that. I mean, look at Jim Sterling. That guy's always perpetually pissed off. And, you know, he, he still has fun. Uh, he, um, I, I don't even know how he has fun as well. Cause he lives in... Uh, I can't remember exactly what... He lives in one of the southern states. Apparently, it's always fucking hot there. I'm surprised he, he can handle it. Uh, because, you know, over here, unless you're living on the south coast, it's not fucking hot. It's, it's usually mild. So, uh, I think this round is wrapping up now, actually, so uh, I'll, uh, I'll leave it there. Uh, so, yeah, great mech, good variant, well worth picking up if you haven't already, which is be surprising because it's thimble, it's great. So, um, have a good one, all. Thanks for watching. There might be a slight edit because there might be a bit where... Yes, I think there is this one. There is, there's, apparently there's a disconnect somewhere and I read a grid reference and I went off to go find it. Uh, and I don't think they were there. So, or at least the match was over by the time I could get anywhere near to them. So, yeah, they'll, I'll probably edit that bit out. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Bye.